Jones headed back to the job. We're gonna flicking whip some tweet ass, bro. Kamikaze. Alrighty, we're headed back to finish that up. Uh, actually, yesterday was supposed to be. Uh, hadn't seen my buddy Glenny in a while, and uh, just to actually do firewood. There. And then he was like, "Yeah, check this out. Uh, kind of don't like this. All that weight on that limb." Uh, hanging over my house, so but we like bullshitted for an hour and a half or so or two uh, Before I we went and looked at that and I was like, yeah, hey, shit. We can get started on it today And uh, like I said uh, before we we're, we're supposed to do a little more But I'm glad we didn't just for the fact uh, like the health of that limb It's probably not uh, considered proper or the greatest for the health of the tree what we did or back that far but I think it's a good balance there he's got some peace of mind now that all that weights off that over the house I'll leave a link for the first video I kind of don't care too much for my earlier videos uh, I think they're kind of shitty but I'll leave a link to that one uh, the first part of this limb and then I, I think that was probably about 1100 pounds or so of weight if I remember right, that we took off originally, and then probably uh, here now is like a, I don't know, get a fourteen or fourteen or fifteen hundred pounds worth of weight, probably, uh, you know, give or take. So it was a big old fat limb. I think it would have, uh, I think it would have fell victim to the storms had we not taken the weight off originally uh, that we've had these past couple of years. I think that was a few years ago I did that one originally. So, yeah, about the whole firewood uh, doing yesterday, uh, I brought the 372 with the 24 on it. Uh, anyways, I brought the, the 562 today instead because it's just a hair lighter, not much, but I do got the lighter 24 on it and a skip tooth chain. Just for strictly for uh, in in tree use. My experience is more with uh, with Husqvarna, but I like the guys like uh, Poplar Mechanic is one. Uh, shout out to Poplar Mechanic. Go check out his channel. He's awesome. Good uh, good like uh, work climbs uh, that are like nice, quick, short, and sweet edits. Real good edits, and they. Uh, they still manage to kind of show you what uh, the gist of what's going on uh, so real good uh, real good stuff there he does reviews and also uh, his videos on saw mods working on saws uh, great great channel go check him out uh, but he is one of them uh, I like him a lot for the fact that he's not like fuck him steel fuck Husqvarna or you know like because uh, he's I'm jealous he's got the 462 I want I want that saw but uh so I like that. I think that's the best, the loophole. Which saw is better? Steel, Husqvarna, Echo, or Dolmar, whatever. I think they're all, it's, I think it's wise to own a little of all of them. So, uh, that's, uh, kind of what I was, was thinking there. Uh, own a little of all of them. I want the 462. But like I said, mostly I'm a Husky guy. I love the 201. I like the 201 TC better than the 200. I don't know why. I, th I almost feel like because it's the first, like your, the old guys with the 200, uh, that was probably like at the time when it was new, it was super fucking badass. And uh, it also, it sounds nice. So even when I first got it, I paid like two, 250, 275 for my 200 off a guy that was using it just here and there for lemon and like groundwork. Like he didn't have a whole lot of use, I don't believe on it. And, I, the sound of the exhaust is amazing. So when I first got it, I was kind of all like, damn, these things are the shit. But then I started using it, and then I go back to my 201 TC, and my, just, my 201 fucking rips with the 16. They both got 16s on them, and that thing just, uh, I love that saw. That's my favorite saw, the 201. And my second favorite is probably the 372, just because it's super reliable. I don't, they got a very good reputation, the 372s, Husqvarna's. 
And uh, but I do love my 562. That thing is super smooth. It's like a Cadillac. It's really fucking smooth. But anyways, uh, I think uh, wow, I'm like kind of rambling and uh, my train of thought. I gotta do that a lot. My mind goes a million, a million places. And uh, it's a Poplar mechanic. Yeah, that too. Him. Thank you. He's one of them guys that kind of like, hey, if it's a good fucking saw, it's a good saw. Let's, let's rock it, boys. So thank you uh, for the support. For watching, Dustin. The popular mechanic. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you, of course, everyone who watches and supports. But my main homies, you know, Dustin. Uh, popular mechanic. Scott, uh, Scoop TCI, Stillborn, Mike, and uh, Mike Frizzle. And I'm sure I'm uh, leaving someone out. Kind of always do. Scatterbrain. But uh, thank you guys. Bucking would call them, call some true blues. Uh, I don't, I can't use that term, I guess. It's probably patented by Buckin, but true blues, you know. Shout out to Buckin. Hey, he's a hell of a guy. Yeah, sometimes I kind of talk like him. He kind of, it's just contagious. I kind of, he's a, he's a goofy, goofy guy. He's awesome though. Uh, spreading his, I like his uh, spreading the positivity and be kind friends. And, uh, holy smokes. That was close. People are fucking crazy. Uh, fucking, yeah. He, uh, we kind of hear, like, I talk like him sometimes or kind of sort of references to him. I mean, who else, like, before Bucking, who, who, who in the fuck is heard of Nanaimo? You know, unless you're from those parts in uh, Canada there, but, uh, like, no disrespect to Bucking kind of thing. Just poking a little, uh, harmless fun, you know, uh, I like his personality. He's just a fun, fun guy. Uh, went to Bucking Stock 2019, met the guy, shook his hand, you know, not that we're, like, buddies or nothing like that just uh, you know got to meet him and stuff it was fun fun time so uh, there yeah there's that go oh, back to the saw subject I didn't finish my point uh, but steels and Husqvarna's and all the brands owning them all uh, I've never gotten to use uh, other than the 200 and 201 and I think briefly just a small couple few cut like I didn't really get to use it much but a 362 steel I didn't much care for that I think the, I like the 562 Husky better than that one but uh, I've never gotten to use any other uh, commercial uh, steel saws so like I can't speak on them like uh, you know 461 462 uh, 660 uh, none of them you know so I kind of, I hope to one day use, uh, the, the, or buy a 462 and at least get to kind of try a three, uh, 660 compared to a 395. That'd be cool. So there's that. Just why can't all, you know, just love all, all saws, you know. They all got their flaws. Everybody's got like a, kind of like Ford, Chevy, Dodge. Everybody's got some like Uncle Ronnie that like owned, like if you're a Ford guy or something and like, my Uncle Ronnie used to fucking he bought a Chevy one time the thing was a piece of shit there's probably like an S10 or like a Cavalier or something that was kind of problematic to begin with you know or you know had their issues but like so all Chevys are junk or vice versa you know like uh for it goes for any of the car brands you know kind of thing uh, fuck cousin Jerry bought a Honda Civic and the thing broke down left him stranded one time fucking turned out he never checked the oil probably. Yeah, piece of shit, junk. That's why I buy Hyundai. You know, you get my point. Josh Man drives Chevy, by the way.